Good day. I'm Dian Janssen van Riesburg from the Efficient Group. In today's session, we'll discuss public sector funds with a specific focus on SAA. Efficient was established in 1999, so it has a history of more than 20 years. We have more than 72,000 clients across all sectors with 201 financial advisors that support most clients. We have more than 400 full-time employees and we have a national footprint. Currently, we have more than 210 billion assets on advice, management and administration. At Efficient Wealth, we have two financial advisors that specialize in SAA clients. We have Joanna from Mars with more than four, 15 years of experience, and she's married to a SA captain. Carl Esafra has more than 20 years of experience assisting airline pilots. So both of them are highly qualified to assist SAA employees and pilots during these challenging and uncertain times. They can assist with many different financial products, for example, healthcare, uh, stockbroking, estate planning, short-term insurance, but in today's session, we'll focus on retirement planning and investment management. With financial planning, uh, we follow the six-step process. It's important to gather as much information as possible to analyze and evaluate the needs of a client. We will use the information to develop a plan, and that should meet the needs goals and aspirations of our client. It is important to monitor and review this plan on a regular basis. For public sector funds, there is a formula C that we need to apply to calculate the tax-free component at retirement. All benefits be accrued before 1 March 1998 was tax-free and we use this formula to calculate this tax-free portion. So we'll use an example to illustrate the different options at retirement. So this client is a, is a pilot with a 10 million retirement benefit at Transnet as well as Grant Thornton Provident Fund. So at retirement, uh, one option is to take one third in cash, but with this option, they will be tax payable of 650,000 Rand. The balance will be transferred to a living unity without any tax, so the total investment value will be 9.3 million. Option two is to only tax 680,000 in cash. And with this option, no tax will be payable. The balance of 9.3 million will be transferred to a living annuity, whereas the total value will remain at 10 million. We analyze what income is sustainable for 25 years for, for this specific client worth. The Grand Fortin Provident Fund, as well as the Transnet uh, Pension Fund, the total fund value is 12.5 million. Out of this 12.5 million, uh, we would recommend the income of 40,700 after tax, and this income will be sustainable for 25 years. The additional option is to resign from the Transnet Retirement Fund. With this option, 2.6 million can be taken in cash without paying any tax, the balance will be transferred to a preservation fund. Out of a preservation fund, a client would retire and take an additional 500,000 cash without paying any tax. So the total cash amount will be 3.1 million without paying any tax. The balance of 6.8 million will be transferred to a living duty. Uh, fund, will, fund value will remain at 10 million. In this option, uh, income of 45,900 45, net of tax can be taken. So with this option, more income can be taken from as compared to the retirement option. And this uh, income will be sustainable over 25 years, assuming that the income will increase by inflation every year. It is important to note that both the investment return and the starting level of the income will have an impact on the sustainability of the income. If one opt for a cash portfolio, the return will be lower and therefore the income will not be sustainable over the long term. And therefore we need you, one, one needs to have some equity exposure to achieve a higher return to make the income sustainable over the long term. We also recommend starting at 5% income level or lower, lower to make this income sustainable. 
we can offer different annuity strategies at retirement. We can offer a living annuity, guaranteed annuity, inflation linked annuity, or a with profit annuity. For guaranteed annuity, there's no investment risk, and you'll receive a fixed income for life, but there's no inflation increases. Another option is to have a life annuity that, that increases with inflation every year, but the starting level will be lower than the guaranteed annuity. The option that's in between the guaranteed annuity and inflation linked annuity is a with profits annuity, so the income is guaranteed for life, but the increases is linked to the underlying investment performance. Now with a living annuity, there's more flexibility, but there's also some investment risk because uh, although the capital can be transferred to beneficiaries, you do take some investment risk with a, a living annuity. So a living annuity, it can be more flexible. You can select between 2.5 and 17.5% income. So when you need more income, you can increase the income from your living annuity. Whereas a life annuity, it's fixed for life, and unfortunately you can't change that income within a life annuity. Within a living ET, you also have options to select for underlying investments. So you can take more money offshore. There is no offshore limit within a living ET. You can also nominate a beneficiary. So capital will not be lost uh, when the, the client dies. So when it comes to our investment team, we are backed by a big investment team at Efficient. Boutique Investment Partners, they do the market and fund research for us. That fund and market research uh, goes to the Naviga Investment Committee, which is responsible for the portfolio construction. And our operational team uh, will then implement those portfolios, monitor it, report to clients on a quarterly basis, and provide investment support. Our investment team uh, consists of a highly qualified and, and experienced team that manage in excess of 40 billion rand. Our investment committee consists of myself, the MD of Naviga Solutions, Darby Ruet, our chief economist, and Pierre de Klerk, a Mitzi from Van Investeisen, which is from Boutique Investment Partners. Portfolio managers, we offer a range of solutions to cater for the specific needs of our clients. We have got access to more than a thousand unit trust funds in South Africa, so we're flexible, we can select any type of fund. For post-retirement clients, we prefer to use the silo approach. We prefer to split the assets between a short, medium, and long-term silo. And we will only use the short-term silo to provide sh the monthly income or any other short-term uh, needs. Within the short-term silo, we target to outperform the average money market fund with a target of CPR plus 1% over short to medium, medium term. Within the medium term silo, we invest slightly uh, more in equities with a maximum maximum exposure of 40%. The target here is to achieve CPR plus 30% over the medium to long term. The balance of the funds we invest in, long, in the long term silo, and here we invest up to 100% in equities, both local and global, as well as listed property. The target here is to achieve long term capital growth of CPR plus 6% over the long term. We believe it's important to diversify portfolios between different investment styles, and this improves the consistency of returns. We also diversify between different types of asset managers, both active and passive fund managers. Within the active space, we diversify between the large, well-known brands, as well as the smaller uh, boutique managers that's more flexible due to their smaller size. We also include index or passive funds in our portfolios to reduce the cost to our clients. Within each asset class, we can offer many different solutions. Within cash, we can offer enhanced cash mandates. Within bonds, we prefer to use flexible income managers that can actively move between cash and bonds. Within the equity space, we can offer both share portfolios via efficient private clients, as well as unit trust portfolios via Naviga Solutions. Within property, we can invest in both uh, local and global listed property. And when it comes to offshore exposure, there's no offshore maximum. We can invest more than 30% in offshore assets 
and there's no limitation as with the retirement fund that, um, that may only invest up to 30% in global assets. It is important to understand the total investment cost and to understand what you pay the underlying funds for. So within the total investment cost, it's split between total expense ratio and transaction cost. And the total expense ratio, it includes all costs in running a fund. That includes management fees, performance fees, VAT, custody, trustees, bank, audit fees. And the transaction cost is the fees that's incurred by trading the underlying instruments to buy and sell the underlying instruments of a fund. And that will give you the total investment cost. So this is all fees uh, that is applicable in running the fund. It is important to note that a high fee is not an indication of future performance. We've selected here two funds from the same asset manager, 91 Opportunity, which is a quality investment style, and 91 Manage, they follow a momentum investment style. So it's the same, it's the same category, both are balance funds, but the 91 Manage has a much higher TRC than the 91 Opportunity Fund. One of the reasons is that 91 Manage is more active, so they follow a momentum strategy, so they're more active in trading the fund, and therefore the transaction cost is higher than 91 Opportunity. 91, also, 91 Manage also outperformed 91 Opportunity, and therefore the performance fees for this fund is higher. Both funds outperform the respective benchmarks and the peer group. So as can be seen in this graph, 91 manage outperform 91 opportunity by a significant margin despite the higher total investment cost. So therefore it's important to note that fees are not an indication of future performance. It's more important to understand what you pay for. Do you get value for money? Do I pay the manager uh, for, uh, for, what that, uh, for a specific mandate? For example, an index fund needs to be cheaper because there's no active fund management involved. They only follow the market and therefore an index fund needs to be a lot cheaper than an actively managed fund. An actively managed fund that follow a momentum a style such as 91 Manage will have a higher fee because they're more active. And within the boutique manager space, due to their smaller size and flexibility, we are able to trade more regular than the large asset managers, and that's why boutique manager will also have a higher trading cost because they are more flexible than the large asset managers. Then also between asset classes, a low risk portfolio or cash or bond mandate will have a lower fee compared to an equity or offshore mandate. So understand the fee and, and make sure that you do get value for money and that the fee is applicable uh, and makes sense for that specific mandate. The total effective annual cost uh, includes all costs that's involved with the investment, and that includes the total investment cost, and um, that's for running the underlying investments. It includes advice fee, administration cost, as well as other fees, other fees which is a model portfolio fee for Naviga. So the total investment cost varies between 0.67% and 1.3%, and that will depend on the specific mandate of a portfolio. Advice fees will vary between 0.4% to 0.58%, including that, and the fee will be determined by the investment size. Administration fees will vary between 0.12% and 0.46%, and once again, it will depend on the investment size. And at Efficient Wealth, we receive preferential fees from all the uh, different platforms. So this fees of 0.12 to 0.46% is cheaper than the normal fee out there. And the other fees is a 0.23% for the management of a unit trust portfolio. We can manage portfolios on different platforms. We're independent when it comes to a platform. platform. We're not linked to a specific provider and we can manage the portfolios on these different platforms. And the specific platform that we'll select for a client will depend on the investment mandate as well as the fees that the client would pay. So, so thank you for joining or listening to the session on public sector funds with a specific focus on SAA. 
as many mentioned earlier, Jana from Mars and Carl Isafra, they specialize in SAA. They've got experience with SAA employees and pilots, so they understand the difficult and uncertain times that you currently experience. So please contact them if you need assistance with your retirement plan or any other financial needs. Thank you. Bye.